Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to stage eight of the 2019 Intelligentsia Cup. This is the Elmhurst Cycling Classic. And sorry it took so long to get to this. Realized I raced this like five months ago. Better late than never, right? This is a 90 minute crit on a course that I actually really enjoyed. Um, it was my first time on this course, but I had it figured out pretty quick. Uh, major features are the, the slight rise coming into the start finish, and then also this little chicane on the backside, which is probably the only place where you need to use your brakes, assuming you can corner it well on the rest of the course. And um, I'll talk about that a little bit more later on in the video. But um, the slight rise is also important because it was probably the best place to move up on the course. Well, more specifically, probably the best place to move up on the course was just after the slight rise to the start-finish line. Coming into corner one, as people started to uh, get ready for the corner, there was usually good opportunity to, to pass a whole bunch of guys, and, and we'll talk about that too. I did a lot right in this race, but I didn't take advantage of some good opportunities to improve my position in the last couple laps. I also just wasn't having a spectacular day. Um, this was, uh, like I said, stage eight. I was, I was pretty tired. Some days you have it, some days you don't. I wasn't really feeling great on this particular day. Not to mention, the first Internet Bank guys showed up, and they hadn't been doing um, any racing in this series before today. So they showed up with numbers, and they were super fresh, and they are just really fast to begin with. So they were just on the attack the whole race, and um, that turned this otherwise relatively easy course into just really challenging, really difficult day to move up and get into position. So I think that's enough intro. Let's uh, talk about the end of the race here. We have 6.3 Ks to go, about three and a half laps. And um, I put some, some wind arrows on there for you guys. You can see wind was a factor in today's race too. So this is the backside coming into the final corner and um, the wind was coming from the right. So it was good to be up on the left barriers. It wasn't a huge factor, but um, at speed you can definitely feel it. So it was, it was good to stay on the left here, through here. And this is where people start setting up for the last corner you can see people stopped pedaling there for a while and I did get passed on the inside there you know so it's <clears throat> so it's good to carry your speed through that corner because you, then you're hit with this hill this is the hill I was talking about um, doing 800 watts here and I'm not not moving up so um, pretty serious effort each lap and uh, following a good wheel here first internet bank do end up passing some guys and now this is what I'm talking about is see how it starts to slow down so if you just keep on the power let's see if I do it this lap yeah I do it this lap so actually, I didn't even keep on the power. I just didn't use my brakes. I just passed like eight guys. I didn't even have to use any watts. I just didn't touch my brakes. And um, you can do that in a lot of these corners in these crits. You have to be careful that you um, that you have a position to to fill because if you just kind of force your way into that corner, you're going to screw other people over, potentially cause a crash, and you're going to screw yourself over because you're going to have to squeeze a whole bunch of brakes just to f you know navigate the corner. Anyway, you come down this hill. Um, man, this is what I love about this Midwest racing. Look at everyone just comes out to watch these races. Tons of fans. And now you're hit with this chicane. And that was like a 2% downhill. Coming into this chicane, did a pretty good job there. It's probably the only place, like I said, you need to use brakes. And you don't really have to use that much brakes, to be honest. If it's really fast and single file like it is right now, you could, you could pretty much get through there without touching brakes at all. But you can see... When it's all single file like this, I did over a thousand watts out of that corner, even though I went I went through it and carried all my speed. See, when it's single file like this, and when you're approaching a corner, it's actually a good idea to let a little bit of the gap open up. That way you don't have to touch your brakes when you come into the corner. Now, it's kind of a game, because if you let too big of a gap open up, people are just going to come around you and fill it. But, um, but you let a little bit of a gap open up. Let's see if I do it here. Eh, not really. I didn't really need to, though. But if you let a little gap open up, and then you just don't touch your brakes and you carry your speed through the corner, pedal if you can, then uh, you can save a whole bunch of energy. But it's just fast right now. I can tell because it's single file and um, people are leaving the left side open here, which is where I'm going to make the pass because uh, that guy was that guy was dying, letting letting a gap open. You can just tell it's, it's going hard right now. There's uh, two and a half laps, less than two and a half laps to go and um, people are trying to get in a position, myself included, so... I've kind of left it a little, little bit too late. This is mistake number one. I've left a little bit too late, but um, I'm still in decent position here. I'm probably, see if we can get a peek at it, maybe 15th wheel or something like that, 20th wheel, somewhere in there. But I definitely want to move up if I'm going to be in position for the sprint finish because guys with teams definitely led things out during Intelligentsia, and it was really hard to make a pass in the last couple of laps, so I'm finding myself out of position. I probably should have done what that guy in the orange did right there. 
kind of broke my own rule and I didn't move up. And there I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting uh, cut off on the inside. That guy's doing probably what I should have done is, uh, is taking a better line through that corner. I kind of paid for it there. Easy to say sitting here, but um, that's what it takes at this level to win a race. You can't let opportunities to move up three or four wheels go by like that because like you know what they say if you're not moving up you're moving back other people are moving up around you this is where everyone just starts to soft pedal but there's really nowhere to go because you're coming into the chicane just try to carry your speed through it without jamming brakes too hard and yeah I definitely need to move up I do remember just not having that uh not having that mentality in this race of like I gotta get it I gotta get it like that sprinter mentality of uh of just fighting for position at every chance you get and there's really no room for mistakes especially when you have guys in the field that are just national level athletes and I cannot make small mistakes and just I can't rely on my fitness is, is basically what I'm trying to say because all these guys are way more fit and, and gifted than I am so um, that's my mentality at least and I'm taking that with me to each race because I rely on my strategy and my positioning to uh, perform well in races and yeah so I could have done a little bit better through there I mean you're gonna spike watts out of these corners in the, with the last couple laps to go there's just no way around it I'm just seeing I was just looking at my power back there like 900 out of that corner and it's just like it's painful to watch but I don't know if there's a way around it I mean I could have cornered a little bit better but that's just kind of how how it works when you're back here um, if you're top five you might be a little bit better off but um but then you're in the shuffle and you have to you know, potentially respond to attacks. See people passing on the right. That's costing a lot of energy through here because, again, this is the wind. And, and let's see. I'm pushed a little bit wide through here. That's, that's what it costs to be on the left side, on the, on the downwind side. But, um, but I did carry my speed through there. And now I'm just ugh, I'm up like 900 watts, making a couple of passes here. But I'm basically desperate there. Oh, I like how um, there's all these fans out, first of all. And I also put that speed limit sign up, which is funny because it was like, watch your speed. You're... You're breaking the speed limit. And so, let's see. I need to just continue pedaling through here. I'm just kind of soft pedaling. You can see some people are moving up on the right there. I'm trying to. Now we're in last lap mode. I need to move up. And I was... I, I remember being disappointed. I haven't watched this in months, you guys. So, um, so this is pretty raw take. But I just remembered like being pretty disappointed with my performance in the last lap here. Because I didn't have it. And um, I'm not in great position here. I need to be pedaling right now, harder. 450. Eh, now I'm soft pedaling. I probably should have moved up on the right there and made up and passed two more guys. And then, okay, so this is mistake number one. I tried to dive the inside, but first internet bank was like, no thanks, and just shut the door on me. Um, which is what I would have done too. Like, obviously, don't fault him for it, but I should have just been a little bit more aggressive and avoided that situation to begin with. And now you can see it's just way too late. Like, I am like 20th wheel. Uh, maybe even worse with a half a lap to go with with uh, 1k to go I need to be like sixth wheel if I want to win this race and it's just not gonna happen for me today and I know that but um here I'm just gonna still put my head down empty the tank why not I flew out to Chicago I still want to see if I can get a top 20 but not very thrilled with my performance in this race and you can see it's gonna get all backed up in this corner doesn't seem there doesn't seem like there's a lot of good control on the front right now a little glimmer of hope there, but then it gets all strung out here. Um, gaps are opening up. Guys are getting tired. I'm yelling at this guy get out of my way. I want to pass on the left on the downwind side, but you can see the gap opening up. And now people are just full lead-out mode on the front and too little too late. Obviously, if I'm 420 meters with this sort of gap, it's just not going to happen for me today. But let's see here. How do I take the last corner? I do remember I still... I still sprinted, but, you know, I got some Omnium points for uh, for today's result. I think I was ended up 18th, so, yeah, I mean, not thrilled, but um, 173 beats per minute. I mean, that's like my, F that's my FTP heart rate. That's my um, my threshold heart rate, but that's about as high as she goes today. <laughs> eight eight hard, hard days of racing, that's what you get. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, I have two more stages of the Intelligentsia Cup to talk about. Lake Bluff is stage nine, and um, that's coming up next. A lot of good tips on how to corner. I'm looking forward to talking about that video. And then, of course, stage 10, uh, a lot of fireworks on that stage. So I'm really looking forward to getting to that, too. Thanks for hanging in there, guys, and I'll catch you the next one.
Dominican Republic.